Shalom, Shalom, Israel. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim HaMashiach, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rakakotash, to be honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and Shalom to mighty Akim and Aqua out there who are diligently waiting to be delivered from this final captivity. <clears throat> Today's going to be a very quick video, just, you know, on some current events. You know, um, uh, so I'm not going to really go too into too much detail, but just to review a few articles that I thought was interesting and worth sharing. Um, firstly, um, and th this is mostly on Twitter. Um, I don't really, unless I hear about it from someone else or I see it on um, Instagram, um, I don't really, I I will use most, <clears throat> um, I'll use most uh, news sources. But uh, I, Twitter is a really good thing if you're just like randomly looking for something like anything random. But so yeah, um, first first thing on Twitter, um, Russia China, Russia China block. I guess Russia China and some other um, countries block. U.S. attempts at sanctions after North Korean leader Kim Jong-un threatens to resume nuclear and missile tests. Okay, so uh, I believe it was last year, if not um, in 2020, when, um, um, oh no, not 2020, it was um, when, um, what's his name? Trump was still in office, Slovakia. So, it, not last year, not the year before that, but when Trump was still in office, um, Kim Jong Un, ha whoa, <clears throat> Slaky, I don't know what that was, but Kim Jong Un had um, befriended Donald Trump for like a few days or something. Like they were, they were like talking about peace and whatnot. And me personally, I th I was like, I was kind of mad that I saw that like they were. You know, they were friendly. They were shaking hands and whatnot. They took pictures shaking hands, you know, showing that, oh, we're about to, you know, come to peace or whatever. Everything's going to be good. Oh, North Korea and, and South Korea are going to be united again. Like, that that's basically what they were aiming to do. Thankfully, that didn't happen, you know, um, uh, because, you know, as, as we just read over here, you know, North Korea is um they're threatening to resume nuclear and missile tests and whatnot. But um going back to that um our, what I was talking about before, um Kim Jong when when Donald Trump was in office and they were, you know, friendly with each other trying to talk about peace, um I believe it was yeah. They sh they on um, I believe the news or whatever, they said sorry, they didn't say they showed that they blew up their like nuclear weapons things or whatever like all their weapons for war they were like blowing it up and act like showing that okay yeah we actually want to um make peace and whatnot like that's basically what they were doing and uh as we know now um it did not last because um a few days after i believe it was a few days um you know Kim Jong Un got mad at Trump or whatever for some reason, and then, you know, they are, they're back to hating each other, and you know, uh, North Korea is back to you know making missiles and whatnot or testing out their weapons and whatnot, and now, or not really, not really testing it, but like, I guess probably salvaging the stuff because you know all that um, oh we're friendly, we're friends now, just went down the drain. So, you know, now learning here, um, obviously, you know, if they're um, going back to making nuclear, doing nuclear missile tests, obviously, uh, we, we, we are, Abarat is uh, in store for, you know, war with North Korea. Um, reading on the, over here, um, North Korea state media said on Thursday the country will boil 
bolster its military capability against the U.S. and consider resuming all temporarily suspended activities, according to Reuters. The statement appeared appears to be in reference to a self-imposed moratorium on tests of nuclear weapons and long-range missiles. The United Nations Security Council held a closed-door meeting on Thursday during which during which eight countries condemned Pyongyang per a joint public statement. Russia and China have delayed the US bid the US bid to pursue sanctions for the second time in two weeks. Al Jazeera report reports. So um okay, so yeah, um I believe in term in terms of this, the temporary suspend suspended activities that is what um, North Korea, the North Kim Jong Un said when you know when he was initially trying to make peace with Trump and South Korea, they, they were like, okay, you know what, we're gonna stop doing this stuff. And I guess after after you know it didn't go too well, I you know it, it's a pride thing, okay, you know um, you know if thinking. Kim Jong Un thinking that oh he's so um high and mighty or whatnot, you know he probably expected um Trump to apologize or something like that because again you need to understand you need to understand the mindset that you know they are they think that all these heathen countries think that they are the ish okay they think that they're the best or whatever but and they think that they can handle stuff. And they have high regards for themselves, but um, they seem to, to forget that you know all these other countries they have the same mindset, thinking that especially especially uh, America, America is so arrogant. But um, now we have a slack here. I um, you have a what's his name Biden who's incompetent and a lot of people just his uh, approval rating dropped so uh, it just you guess you have something wrong with all these uh world leaders all right okay yeah exactly the hell is this but yeah basically this is you know this is in reference to what I was, what I was talking about when Kim Jong-un was um, trying to make peace with Donald Trump okay this is in reference to I'm not gonna go in to I'm not gonna check it out because I did I already went talked about it but you know that's that's um basically what what, what is going what is in what it is in reference to, because you know there is this is tied into. They literally only stop their um, their uh, nuclear tests and whatnot because they were trying to make peace. But obviously, you know, um, Trump thinking, "Oh, I'm a businessman. I'll I'll get, I'll I'll seal the deal or whatever and stuff like that." I guess got that. Obviously, I don't know the. I I doubt anyone would know the full exact full details. But yeah, obviously it failed. It'll, that which is why we have what we have now. Okay, so now next article. Um, this again, once again on Twitter, after recovering from that, what comes next is complicated. Okay, so Slakia, um. Over here, uh, one of one of the things I want to um, one of the tweets I want to go into, this man, um, Joe Dent. I'm gonna read it from the global, the Globe and Mail. Double jabbed, Joe Dent got jab, oh, fuck. got the poison twice. The first time last June, and then again a week before Christmas, likely with. Poison, poison, Slakia. This is so hard to read because I'm trying to, you know, associate 
the words. But um, after bouncing back from mild symptoms each time, the 26-year-old felt relief. Okay, so... Okay, let me not. Let me not talk about it. I'm not going to talk. But obviously you can tell. Double jabbed. And he still got it twice. Okay, and then now they're saying that, oh, it's it, it's the variant. Like, yeah. Okay. And he plans on traveling. All right. Wow. Slocky, by the way. It's late, but um. Yeah, that's basically, that's basically it. Honestly, I I don't really need to go in, into much, but basically, yeah, um, you know. He he's he got, he got them, both twice, and you know he still, got it. Oh wait, what was? Where is that one thing? I don't want to catch it again, he said. Okay, right here. He plans to travel to Costa Rica in a few weeks, a trip he'd be more anxious about if he hadn't already contacted, contracted the poison. He plans on getting his booster before the trip as an added layer of protection. Never say never. I could still get it again. Okay, like, so... He's, he's, he, 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 Slocky, he acknowledges that, oh, I could potentially get a third time even though I got my thing. Like, this is like my third, my third jab. Did I say the wrong, yeah, I said the wrong thing, Slocky. Yeah. But, uh, um, yeah, uh, I, I, he, 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 Slocky, yeah. he could potentially get it a third time. That's, and that's. I don't know what to say, okay? Like, this is just crazy. But um, getting to these scriptures, okay? Um, Second Ezra, chapter 9, verse from the top. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest, seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before. Um, Look at the... look. We look at the signs and then with... Seeing the signs and knowing, you know, the order in which signs are come are coming, you know, that's that's where um we measure the time. That's how we know. That's basically like kind of like a, a, a clock, but not a not a literal clock in the sense of oh we're gonna know the t the exact day, the exact hour or whatnot. But basically, we know the um uh timeline in terms of the sequence of events. Okay, so. I, an example of that is, uh, so there's three events, okay? The last event, the end goal event, the third event is um, salvation, okay? But in order to get salvation, we need to go, we need to know, the only, the way we know where salvation is up next is on the timeline, okay? So if it, we see um, event number one, um your finger, your fingernail needs to um, break. Okay, I, I'm gonna use. I'm using a uh, non-scriptural thing because uh, I don't want to get uh, this video taken down, which it still might because of, of what I said before. But um, so the first one is you know the nail breaking. Okay, and the second event is your finger breaking. Okay, so if if you look at your hand and you see, okay, is my nail broken? Is my finger broken? No. Okay, so then, or slagia, um, what's it called? You we see that only your finger is broken. Okay, because the finger being broken is the first sign. The second sign is the slagia. The nail t finger nail being broken is the first sign, and the second sign is your finger being broken, and the third sign is or the third event is salvation so if we see okay my nail is broken my nail is broken that means we're in the first sign so that we know that okay just one more sign and then we're going to get salvation okay so when we have to wait for one more sign and then everything's d all done and said and done with okay but obviously uh 
that and that's how that's how you um measure the time. We don't know the exact day, the exact time or hour, but we do know through the spirit and through the signs. Okay, we're we're getting close. Okay, it's it's coming, and that's why that's why we look at. Um, the news, okay? If you're in the truth, you have to be looking at the news and looking at the signs and looking at, oh, this is what's coming up next. You know, oh, all these things are happening right now, all right? Now, Matthew chapter, tw- chapter 25, verse 5, For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Hamashiach, and shall deceive many. Okay, again, this are part of the signs. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Okay, so it's saying that we hear wars and rumors of wars. Okay, so isn't this not a, a rumor of war? Okay, this is uh, why, why else would um, North Korea want to you know test their weapons? Okay, because they're they're getting ready for war. All right, this is a part of the um, signs and prophecies. To the end. And verse 7. Um, For a nation shall rise against a nation. And kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines. And pestilences. And earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Okay, this, is the, this is the time of. You know. Basically what's it called. Esau's. The end of Esau's kingdom. Alright. Jacob is the beginning of the world. Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Alright? So, with that, I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, to the honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And with that, I want to say Shalom.